Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's just going to be a quick video of how I made my GoPro mount for my HB Racing D819 RS. I had some leftover carbon so I cut out a piece to mount under the wing, in between the wing and the stay. I was going to have, have it facing the rear one way, turn it around, be able to face it forward. Well, that didn't work out so good. The camera flopped and flopped. There's too much flex on there. So I tried the mount from the Amazon kit, accessory kit. It's just kind of a little cheap mount. Uh, once I got it mounted somewhat solid, I made a brace to go up here to the camera and everything, and it snapped that bra that mount off like really quick, like probably within two laps. So what I did, I took the GoPro mount. This is actually the curved mount. I took some double sided tape behind it and another piece behind there to even out, and I drilled and counter sunk some screw holes in it, and it's not. It's it's got a nut and bolt holding it together. So you can see there's some extra holes. I've got plenty of holes. This was kind of a prototype. So the four holes, four small holes you see here are the ones I ended up making it mount to the shock tower. These two small holes here are for the body mount. So it goes right here. Uh, let's see if I can, let me go ahead and put it on and I'll get it a little closer to the camera. That the wing stay screws go through it. I'm just gonna put one screw in it, how about that? So I use the wing in the, its highest position pretty much everywhere. So I drilled the holes to mount it to that highest position. So now, all you gotta do, I have to take the body mount out to be able to get it in there. I use this GoPro mount, which came with the kit. It's kind of sticks up like that. And I rotate it just like this and mount it in there. And then the next thing I do, I'll go ahead and put the camera in. The light's on. I use this waterproof case just to protect it. Uh, needs it. I know a couple people run it without it, so you just snap it in here. You clamp it down, and then I'll take two zip ties, wrap a zip tie around here real tight, and then one around this way real tight just to hold it from moving back and forth because after a whole bunch of jolts it will fall down if the zip tie fall. I've had one fall down and it did that so anyway this works pretty good and that's pretty solid and I use the settings on 4k 24 frames per second and the stabilization on boost and it's incredible video it's really good it's amazing what it does so anyway that's my mount it's pretty solid and works great. The only thing is it needs those zip ties on there to hold it from, you can, no matter how you tighten it, it's so many jolts back and forth this way, it will come loose. And I've wrecked multiple, multiple times and been pretty rough on it. You can see the top of the case is a little scuffed up, but it's holding up great so far. Uh, and it's gonna give us some amazing footage. Um, and that's, that's how I mount it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you would, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.